Welcome to Kaumudi Global. Kerala's ruling front LDF is now in an awkward situation as the political controversy over CPM MLA and former minister M. M. Mani's offensive remark against KK Rema has snowballed into a, into a fight between M. M. Mani and CPI leaders. Mani's remark the other day against CPI national leader Annie Raja kicked off yet another controversy. It all started with Emma Mani's remarks against UDF MLA KK Rama during a Kerala Legislative Assembly session on Thursday, July 14th. It soon turned into a full-fledged war of words between the LDF allies, CPM and CPI in the past two days. Close on the heels of Mani's statement at the Assembly that it was Rama's fate that she became a widow and that the CPM was not responsible for it, senior CPI leader Annie Raja came down heavily on the Udumbuchola MLA, calling his statements misogynistic and stating that a communist should not have made such a remark. Mani's comment at the assembly was in reference to the murder of Rama's husband and revolutionary Marxist party founder T.P. Chandrasekharan a CPM rebel who was hacked to death in May 2012. Three CPM workers were among those who were later sentenced to life imprisonment by a Kerala court for his murder. Reacting to Ani's criticism on Saturday, Mani commented that she had no knowledge of what is happening in the state assembly and added a local derogatory term to say that she was only a person sitting in Delhi only we know our problems. How will Annie Raja know about them? Even if she says something, it does not matter to us. Emma Mani said, dismissing the CPI leader's remarks. Soon after that, Annie told reporters in New Delhi that she would not give a reply to Mani in a similar language because she was upholding the politics of the left in the national capital. She added that, as someone who endorses feminist and communist politics, she has faced and overcome several hurdles so far. Later, CPA Iduki District Secretary K.K. Shivaraman retorted by saying that CPM Politburo member Brinda Karat is also sitting in Delhi. Mahila Sangam and AIYF also came out against Emma Mani. By Saturday evening, Mani softened his tone as he became aware of the uneasiness caused within the left front during the assembly session. Mani said he had not insulted Rama and would accept anything the party demanded in this regard. He also accused the UDF of calling Rama a widow. Meanwhile, the CPI state's leadership is unhappy with Ani Raja for publicly reacting to the controversy related to Mani, a CPM leader. The state leaders are of the view that it was not right on her part to comment on topics related to the left front in Kerala. CPI State Secretary Kanam Rajendran reiterated on Saturday that Mani made the remark in the assembly and that the speaker will decide on the matter. Although the CPM does not reject the remarks made by Mani, it is also of the view that it should not worsen the current political situation by supporting Mani. On the other hand, the UDF is adamant that it will not back down from protest without seeing an apology from money. The opposition is planning to continue the agitation when the assembly session resumes on Monday. The UDF is now alleging that Emma Money caused provocation by refusing to apologize for his remarks against Rama and this avoided the situation where the chief minister would have had to answer the questions on gold smuggling case in the assembly.